Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this lesson, we're going to study maps and scales in maps. For example, here if I have a map that has a scale of 1 to 200,000, that means that one unit on the map corresponds to 200,000 such units in reality. So you could measure on your map in inches or in centimeters. Either way, those units will be then 200 times that many units in reality. So for example, if we have a distance of 3.2 centimeters on the map, then to find that in reality, we multiply this times 200,000. So we take 3.2 centimeters times 200,000. Okay, now if it was 3 times 200,000, then I would get 600,000. But this time I will get 600 and then 2 times 2, I get 4 here as my next digit. So 640,000 centimeters. But of course you don't want to give that distance in centimeters, you want to convert that. And let's first change it into meters, remembering that 100 centimeters makes a meter. So I drop two zeros, I divide by 100 and I get this many meters. And now into kilometers we get 6.4 kilometers. Over here the map has a scale of 1 to 250,000. And we have a distance that in reality measures 50 miles. And how long would it, would it be on the map? Now, this is a little bit more complicated calculation than what we had here, because it is customer units, it's not metric units. We need to change miles into feet, into inches, because on the map you want to tell somebody that, okay, it's going to be so many inches on your map. So, but the basic idea is the same, that one unit on the map corresponds to 250,000 units in reality. And so each time when we are converting, we either multiply by this or divide by this big number. And this time, of course, we have to divide so we get a real, really small number. Okay, we wouldn't want to multiply this by 250,000, we would get a huge amount of miles. So we divide 50 miles by 250,000. And I'll show you two ways to do this, all this conversion. Now, you can put this into your calculator and you will get some really small decimal number, 0, 0.00 something, okay? So, instead, I could first change those 15 miles into so many feet and then into so many inches. And then only lastly divide by 250,000. So if I do that, I will just work with this 15 miles here on top and change that into feet. First of all, if I want to change it into feet, I would multiply it by 5,280, right? And this would tell me how many feet it's gonna be. And then I will change that into inches. This is however many feet it is. I multiply that times 12 to get how many inches it would be. And now the con the division by 250,000 and this will now give me the amount in inches. So I would first multiply in a calculator using a calculator and then divide by this number. And the answer is, okay, it's approximately 3.8 inches. And if you don't want to give it as 0.8, you know, 3.8 inches, then you would need to change the 0.8 or 8 tenths into maybe Eight parts of an inch or sixteenth parts of an inch. And that can be a matter of trial and error. For example, you might check three fourths of an inch, well, that would be 0.75. And check anything that's close to three fourths of an inch. For example, three fourths is the same as six eighths, is the same as twelve sixteenth parts of an inch. And if you try this, and if you try the next one, 13 16th, then that is pretty close to that decimal. So this would be 3 and 13 16ths of an inch. Oh, it is close to it. And then the other way. I will start out with the same. I need to do this division. And this would give me a decimal number, but before I calculate anything with the calculator, 
I will then put the conversions here. Okay, this will give me an amount in miles. I want to convert that into feet and then I will use the ratio of 5,280 feet to one mile. I either write the feet here and one mile here or vice versa. And this time I want the, my miles to cancel, so I put one mile here and 5,280 feet here. This alone here is a ratio that is equal to one. It is equal to number one. So I'm multiplying this whole thing times one. A special form of number one. Yes, but it helps us convert the units. And then the same thing with the 12 inches to one foot. 12 inches here, one foot here, so that these feet will cancel, and here the miles will cancel, and my units will be in inches. And now I have written this out, and then I will use the calculator. So I can go 15 divided by 250,000, then I go times 5,280 times 12. Or you can alternatively go 15 times 5,280 times 12 divided by 250,000, like we did here. Either way, you get the same. So this will eventually be the same, 3 and 13 sixteenths of an inch. Here yeah, I have a problem with metric units, so this is an easy problem. Scale is 1 to 30,000, and in reality we have a distance of 1.5 kilometers. How about on the map? Okay, we are going from reality to the map. So we need to make this distance of 1.5 kilometers. We need to make it smaller. So we will divide 1.5 kilometers divided by 30,000. Okay, now I will do what I did here. I will change the 1.5 kilometers into meters and centimeters. Then divide. This is 1,500 meters, right? And then into centimeters, I will multiply it by 100. So two zeros there. Now my division will be very easy because I can just cancel, first of all, by 10,000. It looks like this. I cancel these zeros out. It means that I divided both by 10,000. And it is just 15 divided by 3, so it is 5 centimeters. Lastly, a park measures 3 fourths of an inch by 1 and 1 eighth of an inch on a map with scale 1 to 8,000. What is its area in reality? This is a rectangular park, and so to calculate its area, we of course need to find its length and width in reality, and multiply those two. We are going from the map to reality, so now we will multiply. We need to make this longer or bigger. Three-fourths of an inch times 8,000. Okay, you can use fractions if you want, or you can use... A decimal number, just put 0 0.75 times 8,000. This time we can use the fraction too because it ends up being 3 times 8, which is 24, divided by 4, which is 6. So this is exactly 6,000 inches. But for the park, you of course want that in feet or miles. So we need to convert that still, 6,000 inches divided by 12 to get it in feet. Okay, and that is exactly 500 feet. I have some easy numbers this time, even though I chose fractions. Okay, and then the other dimension, 1 and 1 eighth of an inch. Here, I would have 9 eighths of an inch. 9 eighths. And so I get 9 times 8,000 divided by 8. So that is exactly 9,000. Or you can use the decimal 1.125 times 8,000. So we will get 9,000 inches. And then we need to do the same as far as find it in feet. Divide that by 12. And that is 750 feet. Okay. And of course now all we need to do is just multiply those two to get the area. 500 feet times 750 feet. And we get 375,000 square feet. Alright, 
it's a good sized puck. Okay, we're all done. Now you're ready to go practice on your own.